Hi, Bon One here again uh, with another tutorial. This time I'm giving away a shader that uh, everyone's been waiting for. This is a normal mapping shader that works on segments that also works with light mapping. Um, the first thing I'm going to do this time is go right into FPS Creator and show you the effect along with a free segment that I'm giving away. So I'm going to stop the capture right now and go right over to FPS Creator. Okay, here we are in FPS Creator. Um, the segment I call the containment room. You can see we've got some really cool normal mapping going on. Some metal plated walls with bolts sticking out, some kick plates at the bottom, and some vents at the top. You'll see that it um, the light mapper works fine, it casts shadows right onto it. Colored lights work fine, picks up the color of the lights, the normal mapping still works. Got some nice diamond plating on the floor with some vents. And uh, really neat room, it looks like something that could be like in a sci-fi game or maybe even like a Fallout 3 type of game or even just some type of uh, industrial area. It's a really neat effect. You can see the specular works too. It gives a nice uh, dirty metal type of effect. So, really neat shader. Okay, here we are back in dark shader. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you how this works. The name of the shader is called Norm Spec Tangent Basis Template. Um, this uses four textures. The first texture is the light map texture. Um, that's normally generated automatically by FPS Creator, but we need to have something in that slot, so we need to just, just load in a plain white texture, which I'm calling Light Map Dummy, just to fill in that slot. Second texture is our diffuse texture, the D texture. So let's load in this wall D texture. Uh, second texture is our specular map. That is the I texture. So let's load in wall I. And then finally the last texture is the normal map. That's uh, the N texture. So let's load in wall N. And there we go. There's the uh, segment. And you can see the specular is working. The normal map is working. And this um, gives you a great way to preview the models. Um, this shader isn't meant so much for you to create your own shaders. This is meant for you more to quickly preview your shaders. Because uh, what happens here is, is you have three different maps, uh, diffuse, specular, and normal map, that work all together to produce this final result. Um, you're going to be tweaking these textures a lot. If you had to fire up FPS Creator every time you wanted to make a little change, it would just take forever. So that's why this shader is so great. You can uh, do your edit editing in Photoshop and to save the changes you just need to reload, click on the texture over here to reload it. And you can see the changes instantly. So um, it's a huge development tool to use when you're uh, working on uh, these type of textures for the shader. Um, the, this light height, this just gives you a control to see what the sh will look like under different lighting positions. Like I said, these this isn't meant for you to uh, create your own shaders. This is just a tool for you to use to kind of see what it's going to look like under different lighting positions. Specular amount, um, you can adjust the specular in here to turn it down or way up. Um, normally you just want to tweak your specular map. Uh, this just gives you a tool to quickly see what it would like, what it would look like if you, uh, you know, increase the brightness of your specular map. Um, glossiness, you really don't have to touch. I wouldn't even, I would just leave it at the default value for previewing the model. Bump intensity, um, you can play with that if you want. Uh, the default's good. If you want to increase the bumpiness, you can raise it up. But normally, you want to do that through your normal map. Um, and then finally, tiling. This is a cool little tool that you can use. It's, again, this is just a preview tool. Let's load in the uh, floor texture once. The diffuse floor, uh, the specular map, and the normal map. This is the floor texture with a diamond plating. Say you want to see what it's going to look like tiled, like if you're looking at it as if it was a floor. You can raise this tiling value up, and then you can quickly see 
scroll in here, zoom in, and you can see what it's going to look like, you know, in FPS Creator tiled across the floor. So it just gives you a lot of uh, options here to preview your normal map and specular maps without having to fire up FPS Creator every time. This template is 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 good for pre previewing. Uh, now for using the shader in FPS Creator, you just want to use the default one without le touching any of the, the values. This, like I said, this is just meant as a development tool to you know help you quickly preview your textures exactly how it's going to look like in FPS Creator without having to test a game each and every time you make a little change. Um, so let me just do a couple last words here without uh, dragging this on too long. This shader requires a Pixel Shader 3 compatible card. Um, if you have an NVIDIA card, you won't have any problem. Any NVIDIA card made since 2005 is going to support Pixel Shader 3. ATI is a little different. It took them longer to fully adopt Pixel Shader 3. The good news is that their newest cards work just fine. Now if you have a uh, ATI card that is a couple of years old, uh, you'll, you'll just have to try the shader and see. It may or may not work. But um, going forward, it looks like every card, you know, from ATI and NVIDIA works with Pixel Shader 3. Um, let me just uh, go over here to Photoshop. And okay, sorry about that. Uh, here we are in Photoshop again. Here is the wall um, diffuse texture. You see there is hardly any shading at all, mostly just color information. Um, the normal map, you see it the normal map is good for large-scale details. You'll see there's not a whole lot of bumpy detail here other than it, it has definition of where the tiles are, where the vent is, you know, where the bolt is, and where these kick plates are. It's good for representing that large-scale geometric details. Now your specular map is good for representing um, surface material properties. So you'll see here I have this high contrast, it's kind of brownish um, specular mask and uh, that interacts well with the diffuse texture because it'll mask off these dirty areas. You'll see it, um, I kind of accentuate the edges so those will catch all the highlights as the model moves around and it looks uh, really neat, you know, in game. Let me just load this back up again. You'll see as I move the light around, the specular map is the thing that really sells the idea that this is dirty metal. The normal map just rep represents the large scale details of it. So don't underestimate the importance of the specular map. Um, spend some time thinking how this material is, how it's going to reflect light. Um, the last thing I'll mention before ending this is all your textures need to be stored in the texture bank folder. Um, this is important. Uh, it's way, the way FPS Creator works with shaders, it needs to be in the texture bank folder. So um, it, with that, um, I'll wrap this one up. Just make it nice and short and sweet. Um, there's not much to it. Um, Hopefully this is uh, self-explanatory and help you add normal mapping to your games. So have fun. Bye.